What's real? Girls Hang Gang Baby Man. Check me in live downtown city of Atlanta in a parking deck. Listen, today's a big day. We got orientation. This is, this is the first day of my whole career. I know God making some changes, but I gotta help change it. You know what I'm saying? So way inside of the SAD to orientation. First day of forever, baby. I'm about to check in. Let's go. Okay. Hey, bro. We'll be working with the live sound. The live sound is designated for every place where they have performances with audio. The film department is going to be utilizing half of the space where we'll be doing production with them, right? Something that we're working on for this semester, hopefully, it will. It'll work. Hopefully it'll work, all right? So right here is just some of the areas where y'all will be learning right now. I want y'all to get used to this area. You coming this way? Everything around here, okay? We, this is where you will come to get your schedule adjusted. This is where you will come if you have attended another school. Um, let's say you're an associate's degree program. Some of you are film students. So you're in the degree program. If you've attended another school and you think that you may have credits that could transfer to us, get us your official transcript and we will get you submitted for transfer credits. One downstairs, um, we go over here to the All right, guys. Hey, how much gold and platinum you got up in there, boss man? What's that? Yeah, so he's yeah, part well, of a group there. Part of my, my journey has been like I'm a musician, producer, writer, and manager. So I've been in the industry for music industry for 30 years. Um, still playing a band called Sister Hazel that tours around. Been on Letterman and Conan and my shows. Had number one songs, platinum gold records. So it allowed me to open many connections throughout and which is I'm able to afford to give to you guys now that I'm still tied with labels and other people that are still working in the industry and so you know they pick up my call you know so that's good for you guys so that you know if there's an opportunity out there I can call someone in New York or California that have been friends of mine for years so all right all right all right, guys. All right John. What's real? Are, is any, are we in here y'all Maybe Jocelyn, she's not here today, and Sarai, she's in a different state. Yay! Right, you tight, you tight. Oh, yeah, shut, shut, shut yourself out and go up one time, man. It's valid. All right, fun again. All right, so this office is very important. This is your tech office, okay? So y'all have issues with logging in, issues with your tech packages, issues with anything that has to do with, like, technical, digital, anything. These are the two guys. That's Alex and that's G. In the school, y'all need to do an assignment. Y'all need to edit. Y'all need a computer. And the lab downstairs is full. Y'all can come up here and use this area right here. Okay? Uh, right? So when it comes to film, okay? When it comes to film, sound, just remember this, and I'm going to tell y'all, sound is half the picture when it comes to film. Y'all can focus on, yeah, I'm going to have a scope camera and all this stuff. But if you don't have adequate sound, you're gonna rob your audience of half of the experience of cinema. Half of the experience of whatever story you're trying to tell, you're gonna rob them of it if the sound is bad. In film, if the picture doesn't look great, but the sound is good, person will stay there and watch the whole thing. But if it's the opposite, if the pictures don't look like Avatar, but the sound is bad, they're gonna get up and they're gonna walk out because so they can't hear it. Right? So remember, cinema is about the senses, right? So you see something, let's just say it looks really good. That is going to wow you for about five minutes. After that, it's like, what's the story? Like, what is this about? And for you to know what it's about, you got to hear it. This is, this is analog, mm -hmm. okay? That's digital, this is analog. This is an old board. I think it used to be, yeah, this out here. No, it's supposed to be fast. Uh, AC issues in this, so we ain't gonna lose you from that. When you come out of Premiere, you're gonna have the video of the, the what what this is called, your name again? Daryl. Daryl, okay. So what Daryl was talking about, he's talking about looking at the visuals and logic, 
So what happens is when you edit in Premiere, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get picture lock. All these things I'm telling you, you're gonna learn in class. So if I say something like picture lock, you say, well, I never heard of that before. I'm gonna say, remember during orientation when I said picture lock? All right, so when you edit, after you finish producing this movie or in production, you send in all this information to an editor. The editor is editing your movie and then you do a supervised edit with that person. They're editing your movie. What y'all trying to do is get picture lock. Picture lock is where you're not going to mess with the picture no more. That's it. If it's two hours, two minutes, two seconds, and two frames, that's it. We're not touching it. No so more. we didn't hit the tour. Um, it's time for me to take my picture ID. Now this is really important. This is the most important piece of the whole thing. That student ID picture. Let's go.